Hi, my name's Willard, and five years ago I bought a small camera and began recording my adventures in Portland, Oregon. I now have over 200 videos documenting all of the amazing and not so amazing places I've been to. From Portland's underground cities to the bustling streets of Istanbul, my friends and I are trying to see as much of the world as we can and share it with you. So wherever you're at, I hope that you come along for the ride. This is the Will Vlog. What's up, Will Vlog viewers? Happy Sunday. It's been a few <laughs> been a few weeks since I put up a vlog. I think uh, Turkey was the last one, mm -hmm. September. <laughs> yeah, it's been a hot minute. Uh, we we actually have a real treat. I found this place called Fort Vancouver, stumbled across yeah, it. Yeah, you found it. Yeah, I found it. it. This place was a staging area for civilian emergency crop dusting airplanes. Also the first uh, transpolar flight from Russia landed here. This was also used as a spruce mill. It's a pretty big location. Uh, it looks pretty sweet, it looks well preserved. The July they have, uh, they shoot off fireworks from here. Oh really? Yeah. That's like the, their big... Uh, their big event? Yeah. Claim to fame. All right, this is uh, Fort Vancouver. Let's go, uh, let's check it out. Since we did a very poor job of explaining what exactly Fort Vancouver is and the, the purpose of it, I thought I'd give you a little more information. What you're seeing on the screen right now is a, a model of what Fort Vancouver looked like in its heyday. Yeah, you can kind of see that um, that's a, a model sawmill. It's, ha it's went through a lot of different fav phases um, and there's been a lot of, of different stuff that's occurred um, on the premises, but just to kind of give you a brief overview, it was founded in 1824 by the Hudson's Bay Company, which you may be familiar with since they're still around today, but it was set up initially as a fur trading post. And then in 1849, the United States Army built some army barracks adjacent to the trading post. And then later down the road, the Hudson Bay Company ended up leaving and the army took over their abandoned uh, buildings. So that's kind of a brief overview. Um, we kind of talked about how it was a sawmill and there was there's an airfield there so there's, there's a lot of stuff going on in this area and it's a very large area uh, but i just wanted to give you a brief overview of what fort vancouver was is and the purpose of it before the uh the video continues nice you can take a buddy with you yeah dude you want to come in here and just Greg, you want to come take a poop with me <laughs> very nice this is very pleasant <laughs> so me and my pal it's a whiz trough <laughs> Okay. What's the point of two? Dang, man. Yeah, actually, this would be bad, like, at a concert, like, at Summer Jam. I mean, those outhouses are always getting the huge lines, dude. They start having to <laughs> yeah, get them backed up. Yeah, Multi-purpose here. Dude. Yeah, that's how I would tackle that problem. Yeah. I'm not double the honey buckets. <laughs> Clearly for witch burning. Think so, huh? Yeah. So they dunk them in, like, kerosene, hang them up, and torch them? Yeah. That's how I would do it. could go back back then if i could go back back when and step into the past back i'd do it all again again if i could go back back then if i could go back back when i was a stupid ass Of a weak chin, but I don't have a glass jaw. So let your fist glance up my cheek skin and back off. I cut my teeth on the black top. I'm used to something cruel. Cause in my youth, my tooths were crowded as the public schools where we moved above the rules, where the currency was percocets. Where I showed up early rocking headgear and turtlenecks. This nerdle flex that you like Ebony's or Screws yeah. from like the Disney show. Some copyright infringement going on. If you lived here in Fort Vancouver back in the day when it was fully operational. What would, what would your occupation have been? I kind of like that uh, Dr. McLaughlin's job of dispersing justice. So you'd be a sheriff? Yeah. Okay. Kind of. <laughs> I have my own rules. How about you? I go the surgeon route. Leadership roles, naturally. <laughs> yeah. I think my favorite part was the, the dual porta potty. 
So in addition to everything that we've shown you already today, Fort Vancouver is also home to Pearson Field, which is the oldest operating airfield in the United States. And it's also the landing spot for the first ever nonstop transcontinental flight that took place in 1923. The Air Museum is pretty small, has some neat planes, but currently this is also the location of the visitor center for Fort Vancouver. So there's a lot of other information currently housed here. It's free if you're ever in the area. It's kind of an interesting little museum. I play. All right, what did, wait, who said this? Ulysses S. Grant. What did he have to say? Wrote to his wife, Julia. I am very much pleased with Vancouver. There is not a more delightful place in the whole country, and it has never been your fortune to witness anything like such scenery. All right, well, vlog viewers, so that was Fort Vancouver. <laughs> Why are you looking like some, like, Secret Service agent right now. <laughs> Go on. That was the village. The hey, Hudson. sure, why not, buddy? <laughs> yeah. Just want me to check it for <laughs> All right, so that's Fort Vancouver. I'll do some voiceover work, hopefully, and make, try to make sense of this. I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. If I could go back, back then. If I could go back, back when. And step into the past.